All right, got her into stanchion. What I did was um, grabbed a flake of um, alfalfa. I got to get actual, not $25 bales. We've got to get some cheaper ones. Um, but she gets one or two flakes, depends on how much is left in her um, bucket. Uh, that kind of ties her over while I'm milking, get everything set up. So, um, I use three buckets. I bring three buckets out each time. I have the bucket I wash in, I have the um, milking bucket, and then I have the transfer bucket, which I have, it has a lid and stuff. And I milk, um, I put a um, kitchen towel over top of my milking bucket, keep every, keep hairs and stuff out of it. That grosses me out. Um, I don't even like finding hairs in my food. I will stop eating. I can't, it's very hard for me to eat if there's a hair. So, let alone drinking hair. Um, and then it gets strained again into the transfer bucket. And then in the house, um, I strain again. So it gets strained three different times. So I do the best I can to keep everything nice.
after getting done milking, I uh, give her her bucket that she knows is coming, so she's all excited now. <coughs> she's all excited now. You want to do her dairy feed, sunflower seeds, oats, and alfalfa pellets. And then I'll let it soak. It soaks for about 12 hours. Today's different because I did something today I don't do. I separated um, the uh, I separated the baby oil from her because the past few days I've only been getting about a cup to two cups of milk. That's not going to cut it. So I wanted to see. I didn't separate long. Um, I came out here at five, about five thirty, and she was separated till nine thirty. Um, her eight thirty, I mean. Um, so it, it wasn't terrible. Um, I'm not going to do this all the time. I just wanted to try it today. And it made, it made making this video a little bit easier instead of doing it at 5.30 in the, milk, in the morning because I only milk once a day. kind of get riled up about is heating a coop so my coop is in the barn it's actually an old stall you guys kind of know that already in the barn it is 20 a little bit above 20 so in the uh, coop so it's about 20 in the coop but outside it's I don't know Three or four, I don't know what, what it is actually. <laughs> the cat about fell off the ladder. <laughs> so, they are surviving. I just don't open the door. They don't get the coop door opened. So, there's not a point in opening the coop door when it's that cold. You're just asking for trouble. And, yeah. And it's a hot topic on the social media. And I kind of feed into it just because I think it's funny. Um... But, uh, so they have a water that's heated, um, 
they're fine. They're surviving. Even the turkey. Even the turkey girl, huh, baby? Turkey baby. You can see they're running around playing. Got a couple in here laying eggs, so they're good. It's up to you if you heat your coop or not, but just look up. Uh, got eggs back there yet? No, we got one laying on an egg, though. There's a little barn cat. So, uh, look up, um, coop fire caused by heat lamp, barn fire caused by heat lamp. You have to decide if it's worth it or not. And you keep them in their coop for a few days until the temperature stabilizes. Do you have to, do you have to let them out? No, you don't. Even when we had six chickens and we had that little tiny tractor supply coop, I kept them locked up. And back then, I did use the heat lamp um, and didn't do anything. They, I didn't put the lamp in the coop. I put it in the run little run area down underneath. So, it was over top of dirt. But, it's entirely... You do you. That's all I'm going to say. My opinion is, you don't need a heat lamp. I said it's 9. We've had wind chills. You know, 17, 18, 19 below. They're fine. So... They'll, they'll survive. They've survived for centuries, so they'll survive more. And if you do heat with a heat lamp, keep in mind, if you get a big winter storm and your power goes out, your chickens are acclimated to that heat lamp. They're not acclimated to a power outage where your temperatures are going to drop. That's where you'll lose chickens. Is it worth the risk? Maybell, you gonna say hi to everybody? Huh? What did you think about being separated today? I don't think you liked it the way you were mooing. Hmm? What do you think? I think I'm actually going to get to use both of these. I just wash my hands. I always wash my hands when I come back in. into that so hoping you guys can see it I'm gonna show you how hard it is for to get this open put this towel on here it's very hard 
You gotta kind of fight with it. But again, the towel keeps everything out of it, so. Why'd you do that? There are three ice packs in here. That's why I keep it in the freezer out there. That's a lot more than what I've been getting. Pretty cool. I don't know if I'll do it all the time. I felt bad separating them. But. It worked. So. Yeah, almost a full gallon with them being separated. All of the time. These are half gallon jugs. But. What I like is, for me doing the way I do, there is nothing on that. Usually, I, I've never had any. There's nothing on this um, strainer in here. I'm going to get my lids on. It's already cold to the touch because of the ice cap. But today's date which is the 16th. And then we have a fridge outside and it goes out in that fridge out there in the garage. That's why you saw me clean out the dish drainer. Um, wash everything up. Uh, the towels down there, um, they go in the washer along with the towel from up from the um, milk bucket, from the uh, transfer bucket. They go in the washer on hot. I just use a free and clear laundry detergent. Um, that's about it. And then I've already vacuumed for the day since everything kind of got pushed around. The kids didn't have school, so I've already vacuumed for the day. Um, I just fed the dogs before I started this. Um, so it kind of frees up my day. When I do it at five in the morning, you know, I vacuum about seven and then Get house cleaned up and you know free for the day to run errands doctor's appointments go pick up a sick kid you know it doesn't matter so my day's open and then i don't do anything until about five in the afternoon when i go out there and feed them and get everything locked up and all that so um if you have a question any comments um like subscribe um all that fun stuff um, once it gets warmer out, I'm going to try to start working with the German Shepherds. So there'll be a little bit of dog training going on. They need, they need a little bit of training. So you guys have a good day. Stay warm.